Hello angels and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is a little bit late to start the vlog. It's 20 past 12 on Monday and I have just been editing um, the last weekly vlog for you because I've been uploading on a Monday. So got that done and now I have just thrown on a real basic fit. I'm so pale, I'm not feeling the best but we're tanning tonight. I got up and went swimming this morning at half six and I put oil and stuff in my hair last night and honestly I look so greasy. Have I gone the wrong way? Mm, I might have done. I've been talking to you now, I got a bit confused where I'm going. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, you can me. Yes, so I am um, gonna go walk the dogs. I'm meeting my nan and dad and they're gonna bring Ebby and then we're gonna drop the dogs home, we're gonna go for a coffee and then do our food shops. So what a nice little Monday. I'm still waiting for the period, she's still waiting. And tomorrow I'm really nervous actually. I'm meeting a new friend. So I'm gonna go over to Merry Hill and I'm gonna meet Amber Knight if you guys know who she is, I'm sure you do. Um, if you don't know her on YouTube or TikTok. So I'm meeting her because she lives very close to there. And we've been chatting and you know we said like we should meet up and we are and I'm really nervous you know what I'm like so I feel violently sick I'm really scared but it's gonna be fine we're gonna go shopping we're gonna have a coffee we're gonna get lunch and yeah you've got to push yourself out of your comfort zone that's what I said I was doing this year and I can't not do that now like I said I was doing it and we're doing it I don't know if I'm going the wrong way I can go this way I think I'm getting ever so confused. Oh yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Ignore me. So yes, I'm really nervous for that. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna do a video and basically just do my whole wardrobe for you guys. I think I'm just going to rip apart the wardrobe and put it back together and have that as Wednesday's video. Or well, I'm hoping to get a Primark call actually for Wednesday's video and then on when Friday's video I'm hoping to do a um, my wardrobe video so that's the plan this week so far I've got my nails on Thursday and I think that's it I think that's a loose plan of the week anyway nothing is set in stone just trying to be as happy and healthy as I can. I felt I've been okay. I just feel a little bit. I don't know what. I think it must be the hormones. I've just been feeling a little bit unstable. We'll say like we were running and I last yesterday and I just couldn't get my head in the game. Like I wasn't running for as long as I would have been. And I just got so frustrated and I just started crying on the walk. But I was like, but I was disappointed in myself, which is good because obviously I care. So, but I pulled together, pushed through, and we'd still did the 5k. And it was just, it was still faster than my first couple of runs, but it was slower, obviously, than the one, the fastest one I'd done. So I was a little bit disappointed. But then I went and swam 74 lengths yesterday after that, and I did more than. I did the day before run faster so I felt better pushing myself and I was shattered and then I think I only did 40 minutes this morning in the swimming pool so fitness I feel like you guys have been messaging me about like you're enjoying the content I feel like I really took on a new approach not a pro I don't know I don't know what's kind of changed but I just feel like I'm enjoying the fitness I'm doing I don't feel forced and I'm not putting any pressure on it I'm not doing it to lose weight not doing it to do blah 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 I'm taking my like the pressure off because I've re realized like especially cl close to somewhere like people are like shoving a lot of calor calorie deficits a lot of different diets in the f you know like a lot of, a lot is being pushed on social media and I feel like I've come to realize it actually triggers me quite a lot because I don't know I feel like I've had a little bit of a different I don't know I feel like I've had a lot of 
I don't know what the right words are to use here. I've, I've just been through a lot with weight and things like that. When I was younger, I was really unhealthy and, you know, like I, I don't really want to go into it because I know it can be triggering for other people too, but I, I just was very thin. I didn't look after myself properly, blah, blah, blah. And now I think that's why I have a little bit like I struggle a little bit with body image. I'm trying to think of the right words here to not be triggering to anybody because the internet is a funny place. But yeah, so I, I just feel, I don't know, it's just a journey, it, life is a journey and I feel like for, like getting to know yourself the best you absolutely can is key and that's what I'm trying to do and I'm trying to do what's best for me, what's healthiest for me and my mind and my body and but taking that pressure off and removing triggers around me because I feel like there's been a lot recently. I don't, yeah, that's fine to say, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so I just, I don't want to label anything I'm doing. Like obviously before I've said like, you know, I'm being a bit of a calorie deficit. I'm not going to do that anymore. I just want to try and eat as healthy as I can not put too much pressure on myself, make sure I'm active and I'm doing as much as I can and I'm pushing myself and as long as I'm not eating, a, you know, a lot of processed foods and stuff, I feel like we'll be okay. So I just wanted to like, I don't know why I only felt the need to talk about that, I just did. I feel like it's been bothering me a little bit. So I'm glad we, I'm glad I've spoke about that because like people are obviously very, like when you have like put your life online like people obviously then form their own version and their own opinion of you and comment on it which is absolutely fine so i just want to make sure i'm putting the right uh like finger cross if that makes sense i don't want to be misinterpreted i think is what i'm trying to say but anyway it's a bit cooler today it's 18.5 degrees i think yeah it feels, this is the turning, I'm not concentrating. I don't feel fully, you know, I feel a bit brain foggy recently and I'm not sure why. I hate that, you know, you just feel, don't feel yourself like completely focused. The dogs are going to absolutely end in a second, so I'm so sorry and I will not carry on any conversation now because they're going to go absolutely wild and it's not nice for any of us to hear. drinking before they start. As soon as I turn the engine off, here I do. He'll go. <laughs> We've walked and we're on the way to Tesco, coffee, food shop, Lego. Drop the gallery open to ten for you and your friends. You know how I spend in H O U S E O N. I get too crazy, had a little bad enough. We stay good friends, we get too wavy. All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one begins. My babe, you know me, and you know me back then and you know how it goes when i see you again you know i'm making my way to your ends and you know i need you to be there for me you a little post so baby you a little 48 baby We're back. Oh, I'm hot. It's actually so much later. Let's get out of here. I'm absolutely sweating. Let's do, 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 do. We're done. We're shopped. And I'm absolutely sweltering. To be honest with you. Uh, we're gonna go home, we're gonna get some render for the house and then we're going to... I'm trying to figure out which way I'd be faster, probably this way. And then we're going to... 
get some hopefully some paint for the house as well home base do a good color we think so they're the vibes for this afternoon it's 20 past four just too good to be true Catch your style If you can Wish for something special Hello, we're back I thought we'd give you a haul It was a cheap one this week But probably it? Yeah, but hang on The shower's dripping I only got three meals So that's probably why I could think of a fourth So we will probably get um, We'll just make it Fridays And get something Friday So we got we really enjoyed celery last week so i've got some celery and obviously it's so good for you i've got the boys they got two for two pound or something chewy chicken dumbbells and crunchy chicken and calcium bones got a chopping board which was 250 and then we've got three packs of chewing gum because they were reduced to 35p each i've got some spinach these are so handy we absolutely love these, don't we? Yeah. Because they're just pre-cut and we don't overeat with them. Cucumber, Jaffa cakes are still on our fast, so I've got those. Got these for Dan, I just thought they would be good for him for a snack, to put in a sandwich. Just eat, when he gets hungry at night, I thought they'd be good for you to get a bit of protein yeah. in. Whatever, so. They're so good. And they were like the best percent real chicken. Out of the, and then we're gonna have like a little barbecue. So I've got some hot dog buns. I've got some coffee pods, Tesco vanilla capsules. I've got two of those. I've got that. I've got you four protein yogurts. So I've got you one of every flavour for an evening snack. Got reduced fat pork sausages for the barbecue. Got some nectarines, and then for just food, I'm gonna roast. We've got barbecue sachet, so I'm gonna roast some all these drumsticks. Yeah. And I thought they'd just be good for lunches, a snack, just to have, and it's better than obviously it's doing better doing it yourself with proper chicken rather than buying them pre-done. And then these were all right steel, they were three pounds for all those. They were on club card and I thought, thank you. I've got yeah, yeah, cults, yeah, cults. I've got Two, these are quite expensive but they're nice. Two for five pound ham and it's not processed. And then two for five pound beef. I've got some sort of little crisps because they were on offer. I've got Mr. Kipling bars because they're usually four pound and they were on club card for two. So I thought, I don't think I can walk away. I've got some Greek flatbreads and I've got two packs because my nan and dad have invited themselves for a Giros one night because they they won a nice one apparently so <laughs> Giros one night and then I got yeah another pack of potatoes I got oh I got you some prawns I saw got some prawns I got these in the two for three pound asparagus and broccoli we're gonna put it in with a pasta dish I got down strachitella vanilla and then I thought we'd pick up each one of those dash drinks they run off of two pound there was mango as well, but I thought we'd probably prefer peach. And then I got halloumi. And then I got three bunches of flowers. I haven't had flowers for a while now. And I just wanted to treat myself. And then got some sliced onion. I got four for three pound fairy fire. Love it. I got some tomato. I got you these. Because they were on offer. The whole shop revolves around Dan really. I've got a water filter. And it's right, yeah? Yeah, that's the right one. That we need to replace out. And then you just need to try this. It's on offer, so I had to get it. Daz and Glennis have this, and it's the nicest coffee it is good. I've ever tasted in my whole life. It is good. So I picked up this, and it's incredible. And then a tomato puree, a mango, a pepper, and that is it. And I think it comes to like, I hope that's good. Come to 85 but we saved 15 pounds with club card so last week was 115 so a bit better i'm absolutely sweating so was it last week yeah Fucking hell. what 
Just mm -hmm. depends what you pick up, doesn't it? Yeah, it's well, all very. It yeah, looks like you've got more food Hello. this week. And more mm -hmm. like veg and meat this, this Hello, week than that. It's ended up cheaper. I think it. But does the office change? Hello. Miss you so much. My little moo. Well, mate, here we come. Let's find some paint. Why is packing your house so difficult? This is the garden you want to like, guys, but I don't know if we should get a um, sample or not. Should we try a sample before we go and buy the whole lot? Buy one get one half price. That's why I thought if we get it soon, will yeah. we need a primer and stuff? Uh, no. Girl, I know you wanna. You know I wanna. Girl, they too fly though. That's all I know. She don't sing songs, but if I go strong, she gon' hit this high note. She know she working with the Nana. She wanna give me the other Nana needs. Oh. Cause I'm too good, drink too strong Yeah, I too changed, I'm too sprung Yeah I, I, I Too good, drink too strong Come in, sir Which one's which? So that's that one You literally can't see it that one. But don't you think all over that is the cream colour we want? I think so, yeah. Or do you think darker? No, I quite like that. I just think it looks like it just adds a bit of warmth. Yeah. To the house? Yeah. Just round the flue, I think where the... Oh, I'm on camera. I think where the heat comes from the flue, it's been cracking it. It blows my mind that that is all the house is. So flimsy. Hey, yeah. This is a few years old, man. What? You're okay? What? <laughs> You're so cute. Good morning. <laughs> I hate to start <laughs> the day off in a bad mood, but I'm in a bad mood. I just feel pissed off. I, um, so last night, me and Dan just had a bad night. Like, we were both just in a bad mood. Like, the boiler broke. Just, like, we weren't arguing or anything, but like, it was just a bad vibe. Like, we were both just in a bad mood. And, you know, when you just don't vibe together, like, there was no arguments, but we just, like, were like, Phew like no tonight isn't it so we were we well the windows are going here someone outside one second i'm just gonna do my eyebrows so we um we we got back from like wix and that and like so much render ended up like coming off than we thought so it's just like a bigger job then we need it because we don't want to pay someone to render the house. Dan's going to do it. But obviously, render is expensive. Um, and obviously, it's time consuming. So we've got to do that because we've only got the scaffolding up for a month. So we can't really... Or we'll have to pay more for it. So we don't want to go on too long. I don't know why people are still outside. Um, and then... Yeah, and then Dan was like, oh, I just had a freezing cold shower. And I was like, why? And he was like, 
I was like, oh, because like he's been having like cold showers at the end. We both have like turning the cold shower um like cold, and I was like, oh right. And he was like, no, like I think we've run out of gas. And I was like, but I remember him saying in the last weekly vlog, he went and put money on gas and electric. And I was like, hmm. Um. So he was like, no. So he's like, I think there's something wrong with the boiler. And basically, I pulled out all the the other day at the weekend. I pulled out all the summer clothes, and um, I was like, because tomorrow I'm gonna sort out all my wardrobe. So I was like, just deal with the mess. I'm gonna sort it all out on. I'm gonna sort it all out on Wednesday. So he was like, yeah, fine. But because he was trying to get to the boiler, <laughs> and the clothes were in the way, and then he spilled the water. He was mad. He's like, this house is such a mess. I was like, you already knew that, <laughs> you know? Um, so like, whatever. And then I got paint on my top. And then... Uh, shut up. I don't know what they're doing. Shut up. Um... And then, so like he was trying to fix that the boiler had like an error code on it apparently. So he was then trying to fix. I've just shut the window, you still hear the gobby people. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so. Boiler was on. Why do people stand and talk outside people's houses? It actually pisses me off. Okay. So, <laughs> let's continue. So yeah, the boiler wasn't working, blah, blah, blah. I needed to do a tan. It was just a bit of a negative evening. And then I woke up this morning and, well, Last night when I'd done my tan, I didn't end up doing it till like late because we were like faffing about and we were just like miserable. And <gasps> I could honestly just scream. Rory, Rolo! So, and then like I went for a wee, and you know, like some, I was like trying to hover over the toilet seat, you know, classic. But you know, when you. Like it's, it was literally pitch black, I went for a wee in the dark and I was so sticky, I was so uncomfortable. I don't know what it was about that tan combination but I was really sticky. I don't know whether I was just paying more attention to it because I was in a bad mood or what but I was, I was getting annoyed with it all because I just felt so sticky. I was in bed, I was hot, I had the fan on and it was, you know, you're just uncomfortable. That is how I felt. I just felt annoyed. So, um, but I went for a wee and like I wiped the um like wiped myself but I it was there was like usually when I wipe because obviously tan's around you <laughs> like obviously tan goes on it sometimes you know from like my like thighs or whatever and um so I was like didn't really think anything of it I thought it was just tan but then I think it was you now thinking back I think it was the start of my period but obviously it was pitch black so I couldn't see anyway boring story I woke up and I'd come on my period because I thought, I woke up and I thought, I've got, like, I was going to sleep and I thought, I had just, like, pain in my back, like, I was really uncomfortable and then I was hot and I was sticky and I couldn't get to sleep. I listened to about five different sleep meditations. Finally fell asleep, but I was tossing and turning all night, you know, you're just hot and bothered. And then I woke up this morning. <laughs> I hate being miserable. I woke up this morning and I was like, right you know let's get on with it and um, woke up Dan like I think he what he like we didn't argue or anything but I think he just felt bad that we'd like were in a bad mood with each of us so he like woke me up at like half five when he got up and was like love you off what fuck off love you too you know I thought I'm not getting up and going to the gym to piss off oh and that was it and I said to him like will you walk the dogs with me in the morning um instead of going to the gym he was like no like I want to go to the gym because we're going to go for a run Wednesday and I was like oh whatever like I was low key a bit annoyed I was just being miserable and he was like woke me up again then at six and was like let's go and walk the dogs I said fuck off I said I'm not walking the dogs with you I said go to the gym um you know that's what you wanted to do go away um 
so and then because he'd woke me up I had a pain and I needed a week so then I went to the toilet obviously I came on my period which is great and then and then I was like right let's just walk the dogs let's go so what, what went and walked the dogs it started pissing it down it was really raining and I was like oh, for god's sake so I threw the ball for them took them on like a half an hour 20 minute walk just so because I'm going to be out today and then went back till about one I think so they were on their own for a couple of hours and um I thought right fine got back had a coffee it was horrible and then I was mad because I had one of them really nice caramel lattes in the fridge and I just and I thought I can't waste the pods of milk so I had this vile coffee it was literally disgusting and then went for a shower forgot that the boiler was broke it was the coldest most iciest thing i've ever been through in my life like it's fine having a warm shower and then turning it cold Ooh, get out washing my tan off my nipples felt like they were burning i was like putting it on and i just wanted to cry like it was such a horrible experience so i'll be going straight to my hands this evening for a shower you can piss where right i think i'm going in that again um so then obviously we're gonna have to buy a new boiler luckily he's a heating engineer and a plumber so you know it's only the materials but still boilers are not cheap let me tell you that so gotta buy more rendo we're gonna have to buy a pint pipe for the house and you know when you just i feel like you go in phases where the universe really tests you you know they're like hmm, come on let's see how much you've got and obviously you just gotta push through but that doesn't mean i'm not gonna be annoyed about it i still feel mad and then to read it off, oh, I forgot to wet my beauty, beauty blender. This is so uninteresting. But went to, you know, when you leave, I always leave drawers open. Tara and smashed my knee <laughs> so hard off the corner of the drawer. And you, and you just think, <laughs> that was me this morning. That is me. But I'm trying to be in a better mood because obviously I'm going to. Come here. Come here. Stop being naughty, please. Why are you fighting? So that's my rant over. I'm sorry you had to hear that. But there you are. <laughs> that you enjoyed. That is. And yeah, I just wanted to be in a good mood this morning because I'm going to see Amber and it. <laughs> I'm just going to be miserable. We need to pick the vibes up. My tan, to be fair, looks quite nice. But it's so sticky though, so I don't know which one it was. I still feel a little bit like. I don't know, I don't know if it's myself because I feel like me. So I don't know which one it was. But yeah. That's the story in Balamora this morning. I'm sorry it wasn't a positive one. But I've got to be real, you guys would not like it if I was like, I'm so happy on time. Because I, who the fuck is happy all the time? Nobody. No one. No one. So I was watching McKenna's vlog to cheer myself up. I just needed five minutes before I spoke to you because I thought if you saw me ten minutes ago, you'd be like, this miserable bitch. This miserable bitch. So yeah, that's the vibe. Did I? I'm going to carry on getting ready. And then when I'm ready, I will come back to you. You may be. Okay, I thought we could do a boohoo haul. Bit of a weird time. I can all mess. Bit of a weird time to do one. But I don't know whether I know. I'll probably forget, let's be honest. Boohoo haul. I did a return, so this is just like the exchange from a return. So I got this. I'm just figuring out what I want to wear today because now I have to think about a period pad. Whereas normally. Oh, this feels good quality so i've got this cute gray jogger shorts and it comes with this which could be a cute shopping outfit actually depends what it looks like so i got that i'll put the links down below and if i forget just send me your links and i'll get them you i definitely got more than this but god knows where everything is I then got this boxy like short set so these are the jogger shorts they're like a ribbed slouchy like ecru material and then it comes with a zipper so maybe one of these could be cute with trainers and socks i was gonna wear jeans but i don't know 
So I've got two of those. I think I've got four things all together. Oh, I know one thing was a little tea. Give me a sec. I'll need to mooch through everything. Oh, so I've got these trousers. And one, they were huge. But secondly, one, they were absolutely massive on me. And two, the zipper was broke. So, like, I thought, you know, even, like, just try and make them tighter with the zip. They're, like, wide leg, stripy jeans. And they were just too big. Like, they covered my feet. I forgot I hadn't blended this bit of concealer in. <laughs> Idiot. There we go. Um... They're like these blue pinstripe kind of jeans, like wide leg jeans, but if I'm honest, don't bother, not cute. This cute little top that says Hawaii, but I think it's gonna be a bit see-through. It's like really soft jersey. It's like a little top like that. And then I've got this swimsuit. It's just like a Hunza G dupe, it's cute. It looked really big off, but it was fine on. Like a cheeky bum. But I was going to wear it swimming, and then I thought, can you wear green to like a gym swimming pool? I don't know. I don't know if you can. They're a nice length and they're not too short. And we, oh, you can see my, I'm going to have to like shove the, <laughs> shove the um, pants up my bum. Okay, so you can't see if I do that. Let me try this, this little top on and let's see what we're working with. Okay, this is the outfit. I don't know what's on there. I feel stressed. Like, is this too casual to go shopping? Like, do I look weird? Do I look okay? Like, I feel like if I don't tuck it in, it looks a little bit strange. But, like, then they're so, like, I folded them over because they're a little bit big for me. Like, when they're like that, they're just, so if I fold them over, they're a little bit tighter for me. And then I've just been, just kind of got a little tuck. So I would probably wear the Chanel bag or my Louis and then some trainers. So, but then I don't know. Hang on. So we've got that with some trainers, just like a little tuck from the back. <laughs> or we go like jeans and a top. Let's try that on. I think I'm going to go with this. This is just an Adenola grey top. I feel a bit bloated though. Do I look it? Not that you can answer me, I feel a little bit chunky. And then, um, New Balance, just baggy POT jeans, so I don't know, la, POT, but I just feel like this is a bit more safe. Like, I'm not going to be worried if my thing's riding up. I don't know, I just feel more cool. I don't really know. But I think, I don't know whether to put on my little blue, no, too much blue, fuck that off. Let's go. Do we go coach? Just comfy, my little pillow bag. Or do we go Louis? I feel like Louis is such a classic for me. So I feel like maybe we shouldn't. Or do we go Jacquemus? Jacquemus could be nice for a different bag, couldn't it? I feel like coach looks a bit cuter. I don't know. These jeans are quite big for me. I had to put I put them on a couple of 60 degree washes the other day. And that seems to have sorted it out. I just want to look cool, you know, cool and cash. I feel like when you meet other people you just don't feel cool though. Earrings. Let's not forget earrings. Should we go for this? Hi! <laughs> I'm fucking scared. I need to hurry up. I'm meant to be leaving soon. 
I'm gonna do it, I know. I'm getting nervous, that's why I feel a little bit suck. A little bit suck. Right, let's put some earrings on. Let's put these on because they're a classic. Let's see how long it's going to take us to get there. 44 minutes. Good morning. I am just putting my earrings on. Yeah, no, in. And I'm going to like let the dogs out. So I'll probably leave my house in like 15 minutes and then I've got to put petrol in and it's saying 45 minutes. So 15 minutes. So I'll probably be, I'll probably get there for about quarter to eleven, but I'll send you my ETA once I'm in the car. But I just wanted to um, let you know before I left in case you were like, no, don't leave yet. So let me know if that's okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> my spot is being a little bit of a, a B I T C H. Let's pack our bag. I'm going to take my little coach here. I recommend the coach so much. Like, so, so much. It, it has been a beautiful bag to have. I love it. I'm going to take... I had a nightmare while I was getting ready. I <sighs> wiped... Can you see that pink splodge? Yeah, that went all over my chin. All over my chin. And I had a massive splodge all over my face and it didn't look cute I just no 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 I didn't look nice so I'm going to take my makeup bag no I'm not my brush my beauty blender a little bit of concealer and then we're going to take Rimmel tiramisu and i need to put my necklace on it's downstairs i'm gonna put my apple watch on let's put some rings on i'm gonna put my dual ring on on one of my fat fingers that it won't fall off dior let's not overdo it i love this one from boho moon i think i've got a discount card i think it's mia 10 if any of you i love their earrings like i genuinely really really like their bits I'm going to put this little star ring on, also from Boho, Boho Moon, on the thumb. And then I've just got this little chain one from New and Me that I'm going to put on my finger. And then... Which one will this go on? And then I've just put that one on there. A man was just walking the dog and brushing his teeth. And that... I didn't really know what to think about that. I mean, he's definitely saving time, isn't he? He must be in a rush. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there at that. Let's not overdo the rings. So we've got our rings on. I'm gonna put my Apple Watch on. I've got lip liner, I just need a lip gloss. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a gloss. Okay, let's put you on. Where did I put the coach bag now? I'm sat on her. And then we just need you guys. Should we just do one more spray of Urban Decay all night for good luck? I'm going to wear I've just pulled my lace on them. I'm gonna wear I'm gonna base it with Sol de Janeiro
and then I'm going to mix Carolina I'm going to take this with me and then I'm going to put on some Dior Miss Dior my nan's ringing me one sec Hello, I'm on the way and I'm going to put some petrol in at Sainsbury's first and then we put some petrol in at Sainsbury's and then I'm going to be on my way. I think it's going to take about 43 minutes to get there. I've got everything I need, I believe. got deodorant, period pads, all that good stuff. So I think we're all good. Makeup looks okay. I'm a bit nervous. Oh. But we've got this, we're going to be fine. It's really good to push yourself out of your comfort zone and meet new people. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it'll be nice to have someone to relate to, to like when it comes to like my job and things like that, because obviously it's been her job for a long time. So, ah, oh, there's like a little, like old people walk. Like a, oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm really excited to have someone to relate to me, hopefully, about, you know, stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we get on and yeah, I'm really scared. It's 10 past 10. Let's say what we're grateful for. Let's bring up the positive vibes. We are healthy. We are happy. We are healed. We are wealthy. We are so lucky. Everything always works out for us. We are grateful for our family, our friends, our house, our food, everything. So let's be positive and like it's okay to be like miserable it's okay to be in a bad mood it's just really important to remember that it's okay to be annoyed like feel the emotion and then but don't swallow in it like don't be like okay i'm gonna be miserable for the rest of the day the week the month the year you know it's like okay yeah i was pissed off but there's good things happening and we're okay so that's something that i've really been trying to learn over the last year or so because I think when I was in a, a worse place last year and I wasn't very happy I struggled to keep that mindset like I'm like I'm miserable like, I'm gonna swallow in this miserableness misery the whole day and that's that like that's me done for but no like there's plenty of things tyres are low I hope not I hope that isn't the case I'm gonna go and check the tyres in a second but yeah I just need to ring Dan and tell ask him how to put the um tyre pressure in so I'm gonna put my petrol in and I'll be back so I'm on the way why does nobody talk about how awful putting tyre like tyre pressure is tyre pressure in is I honestly had a nightmare like I don't think any air went in I had to refill it three times I've rung Dan but he was busy and he was just like I don't know me you're obviously not doing it right and I was like right well cheers so one said it was like eight and it was meant to be 32 and I thought shit but sorry I don't have a clue where I'm going to be oh we're Ikea gosh that was quick wasn't it I thought, you know when like somewhere doesn't seem that quick but then when you're not going there you go and pass there it seems really quick does that make sense anyway I've got black all over my nails not very happy i need to put some um i tried to put some hand sanitizer and it wasn't working someone was behind me and started beeping <laughs> i'm just very stressed you need to just think what's the need don't be so mean so yeah so i thought we could have a sing song together because i just feel stressed i put some petrol in and we're on our way we should only be another i think we're gonna get there at 10 past 11 it's 10 well, just before 10 to 11. I got a missed call from your bitch. I remember when we broke up the first time. I never, ever, ever. Good for you, I guess you moved on really easily. I guess the therapist I found that you should really help. Yeah, yeah. Get it, call me, call it, 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 call it,
chasey money, had some money, flexing no bitches as hard as I can. Even her lies, driving the land. So that bitch, I'm sorry. I'm a district in the chat. I see some of my bitches happy and exes that say price those red bottoms. It's one, two, two three, three times too much. That's not, not cheating if I wasn't with your ass. Yo. You should have paid my rent. Diamonds on my neck, but nothing in this world that I like more than checks. It's my weed, it's my weed. And pack your bags real good, baby, cause you'll be gone for a while. Anything you want, it's yours. You my right hand, you my go to. Just know that these streets just don't love you like I do you Got a lot on your plane, that's why you're always working Ah, taking pictures of yourself You got it, girl, you got it Baby girl, you got it, girl, you got it, girl I don't know what they want, I don't know I don't know oh my heart. She don't wanna be no side eye She just wanna be my wife She's the one with the thighs, the one with the feeling Hey, damn Car still smells like marijuana. Really here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I can see the Starbucks. Shit. I'm scared. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm nervous. If you're watching this, Amber, I do want to see you. I'm just scared. I don't know how to get into there. I'm in the wrong lane. I'm so sorry. I've never been here before. Sorry. Sorry. Where do I park? Do I park on the car park here? Where do I park? Is there any car parking spaces for me? There is one, there's two. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm really scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. Right, let's park it here. Go. Why is it meeting people so much worse in your twenties than it is any other age? Other parts, okay. Okay. Right. Let's put some spray on. Don't want to smell, do we? Okay, card holder. Too bad, pal. I'm here. Oh, I feel sick. Do you think it'll be okay, guys? Wish we were here for moral support. I need right now. I find that, um, that like, isn't it mad that people online exist? Do you know what I mean? Like, we watch. Like, we watch people. Got a, you know when you miss got rubbers on your top eyelid. Okay, I'm here. I'm scared. I'm bloody scared. I'm super scared. What do you do when you meet new people? Do you hug? Do you know what I mean? I just get nervous about every little detail. Okay. Because she said she was going to park on the car park over the road. But does that mean we've got to walk all the way? I don't want to walk in the rain. I'm scared. Um, I will vlog as much as I humanly can, I promise. 
I am just a bit nervous to whack the phone out, you know? But I will try. I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? I'm just scared. Bye, love you. Wish me luck. <laughs> Doesn't it? How much was the lens? I think mean, it was only about 60. It wasn't that bad. 60? Yeah. yeah. I'll show you the Amazon cheap. link. I'm set up 200. I'm with my Mac. I got a camera Mac and she got an iced latte, which I'm shocked about. No syrup. Nothing. Just coffee. Boring gal over here. I'm going to try it in a minute when she's drunk it because I just am so intrigued to see what it tastes like. I love them. Oh, the lights are red, but yeah. I love, I love that. And you look, I love that colour. But the bigger vlog. The confidence of the vlog, did you mean? Yeah. I've got the card in here. I just wish I was like. You. I just don't look around. <laughs> because I just, I just, I just, I'm just looking right into your eyes of nowhere. So I just think if you're not embarrassed, how can anyone embarrass you? Oh, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the friend I've always needed. Do you know? It's true. Though. I just think, well, what do you know? It's my job. You wouldn't, like, I just think, oh, someone else wouldn't not do their job because of me, would they? They're embarrassed. Yeah, that's right. So I just think. Yeah. I live in the United. Shine Look, I love the shirt. Tell us where you got it from H&M. How did you know that? Well, you've always noted, don't worry, I'm not a freak. You've always noted yes. Did I? You said, I've got a H&M package and I haven't opened it yet. There's a shirt in there. So I'm just putting two and two together here. This is the shirt. There was a bag as well. The bag was a bit summery. Oh, so what, what was the bag like? The Jack and the Duke, you would have loved it. Oh. You should have bought it, you would have loved it. You'll have to show me on your email, yeah. or if it's in there. Yeah, I've got a whole TikTok over it. Oh, okay. Go <laughs> away, but look at the weather. It's We're so giving good. summer. <laughs> the dark vibes don't match. So give us a taste test of your latte. How are you about sharing drinks? Is it icky or not? Can I have some? You don't yeah, mind? Some nice. people don't like sharing, do they? No, you have it. Oh, it doesn't taste like? No. Oh. I'm really excited. I said, do you like it? And she said, yeah. <laughs> like. It might be gross. What gross is it? That's vile. Let me mix mine and she can try mine. It's got two shots in That's all. How are you drinking that? Walking around? No, that does taste right. It's vile. <laughs> I'd go with that. <laughs> Maybe. What, 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 what about sugar in? You're a superwoman if you sit and drink that. <laughs> a bit of a. Uh, bet these caramel juice is looking good now, isn't it? <laughs> the regret. I don't know what it's like. Honestly, it does not normally taste like this. Right. I'm going to give Amber some of mine. See what she thinks. What is it? She said. So I don't know if you're going to like the drizzle, but have a sip. It might be, it's definitely sweet compared to that. Go on, shock us. Don't, too much, don't like it. Too sweet. I've got like a ton of caramel in my Oh, not what you needed. <laughs> not when she's just said it's too sweet. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. I don't care. The chunk kicked you in the back of the throat. Very classical, isn't it? Mine doesn't play classical music, does this one always? Mm. It's giving peaceful, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if you can get copyrighted on classical, surely not. <laughs> Give us a break. <laughs> Please. Um, so, yeah, we're going to drink this and we're going to have a chat and then I'll catch up with you when we go shopping. We're in Primark. Amber's just looking at this dress. Oh uh, no, we're looking at the jacket. You've needed to the jacket. I can't believe you do it on there. You don't know what's, what, what TikTok are you doing? I just think there's jackets, I think it's really jacket. Isn't it funny how people have like such different ways of doing things? I like this little beach bag, very cute. Yeah. We're going on, if I was going on holiday, it's cute. But H&M have nice I was gonna say accessories, don't vibes. they? And we're just having a little mooch. <laughs> I need your confidence. Look you, at this girl just walking around the vlog. You've got to do it, you've got to fake it till you make it. I don't even know where my camera is. Oh, I've got it. She hasn't picked up a vlog yet, guys. Oh, no. There's me. You've got to know that you're special to me. These are nice. They are nice, aren't they? I don't, the only thing I don't love, really nice. I don't love, can you roll them down? We're looking at these, by the way. Sure. We, can, we need them rolled up. Huh? Oh, no. Do you want a hand? Are you okay? They're nice. They are. 
I really want some sambas. They look really nice on they're you. So cool. Are they? They're the only shoes I've had. Just be like ready for like you buy them and you won't wear any. Right, okay. They're really nice. How much are they? Really 50. Or 20. Or 20. Oh, 20. I forget things. 18 in the middle. Right. <laughs> Smack bang in the middle. I'm trying to get a haul, guys, but I don't know how positive it's looking, to be honest with you. I'm not seeing much. Um, the problem is, it's when you don't need anything. I'm trying to balance you. Hang on. Hello. So, we're just in Primark home. Primark was absolutely awful, but look at this little glass. Three pound, and it is so cute. It's only three pound. Hi, guys. How nice is that? Imagine a nice oh, coffee. Glass. Yeah. I thought it was going to be plastic. That's what I mean. That's even better, because it was like three pound. Like, it'd be fine in the dishwasher. Imagine with like a little pink straw. For the iced coffee. Have you got the B and M jewelry nice glass straws? Colourful glass straws. Don't do they're, that. They are so nice. <gasps> you know, you just don't need it, but you're going to. I always said when I moved out that my cupboards were going to be finished. Don't. Don't. The mine are match, and now they're all just nothing matches. Nothing matches. Yeah. Because I find all these individual aesthetic yeah, ones. Yeah, like so nice. None of them match. Yeah. That is so cute. <laughs> We're cute, aren't they? It's a problem. But I've picked up this little journal, and we've both got matching little. little have phone charms because I'm I've inspired because they're just so to play with. I've and never look, had one. They look cute for me. I've never had one. Oh, they do it in green glass, but that's not as cute. Look, oh, we're in H&M. I'm going to be quick because of the copyright, but we were looking for the tra striper trousers that everyone's wearing, but we can't see them because Amber's got the shirt. So I was thinking, oh, maybe, but I think don't fit Marine look, which is sad. Chili jam. Is the sauce nice? Yeah. Go on. She's trying the Helene guys. You like it? You like it? Yeah, baby. It's saltier than I thought. It's, it's nice. Oh, it's incredible. I'm on the Hello. I'm on the way home. I am so tired. It's ten past five. I've still got another like just under half an hour to go. Um, but I feel a bit sick. I really enjoyed meeting Amber. She was really, really nice. Like really nice, and it was like nice for someone to relax. Honestly, had a really, really nice day. Um, it was nice to have someone like to relate to, and like, obviously has the same job as me. It was just nice to have someone to like chat to, like a bit. Like it's just nice meeting new people, isn't it? If you get on, and she was really nice. Like we got, I got there at like what was it, something past eleven, and we ended up chat chatting until like two o'clock, just sat in Starbucks, and like it's just nice. I feel like it wasn't awkward. Like there was like. You know, just good vibes, which is really, really nice. I don't have a freaking clue where I'm going. I didn't come back this, like, I didn't come this way, I don't think. So I'm really confused where I am. And the traffic has been awful. But I come back in rush hour traffic, so. Yes, we had a really nice coffee. Looked around the shops. The shops were awful, though, like, really, really bad. I literally bought a gratitude journal. I think I showed it you. Oh, I started moving again. So I show you, I'm really bloated. My little tummy, my little period tummy's really bloated. Bless it. I feel like I'm all swollen. Oh dear. I'm not gonna go to Zumba tonight. I feel absolutely shattered. I'm gonna do my wardrobe thing, and the boilers come in tomorrow. Honestly, the way that cold shower attacked my nipples today was... I haven't got over how horrible and cold it was. It was nasty. So Dan's, um, Dan said the boiler is coming tomorrow. So when he'll fit it, I don't friggin' know. But I just said I'm not having a cold shower like that again. Like, it was awful. Like, I could have done with washing the oil out of my hair, but you could bugger off if you think I was bloody doing that. No chance. No way, Jose. I don't know if I'm in the right lane, the wrong lane. I could not tell you. I don't have a clue. I'm just about to get in the M6. I think. And then I've got a couple of drinks in and then I'm home. Ugh, gosh, I feel shattered. But I just thought I would update you on my day. 
I got the Bondi Sands I Spy because I've been meaning to rebuy that for ages. It's so nice. Like that's the like one of the best collabs that I've like continued to use ever. Like I've loved it ever since. Not many stores do it. So I got that. I got a gratitude journal. I think I showed it you. And then I got a phone charm. So I literally bought nothing. Like it was all under ten pound. We shared some loaded fries at Nando's, but honestly, we left like half. Like none of us were really hungry, um, which is very unlike me. And I, or none of, all I've had apart from that is a coffee. So I haven't really eaten much today, but I haven't felt like it to be honest with you. Just don't feel very hungry, but I can't believe how slipped back my hair has stayed. I'm shocked. Shocked. I've changed the playlist. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. I'm on the wrong. I'm literally so wrong. I don't know what to do. I'm so stressed. I have my. Oh, I can't believe I've just got around that roundabout safely. Is. I feel really stressed. We're fine. Let's just keep singing. Six o'clock alarm would never reach you. Sleepy G. Turn around every now and then. the door and turn the lights down low This is such a good song Me and my big loud mouth Just understand The touch of your hand Makes my clothes react Then I saw her face Hurry up and we got you What's funny? If these songs are remind you of 27 dresses How would we be friends? And if you haven't watched it, I suggest you go and watch it I completely forgot to show you or tell you about this. We got Skims delivery. You like that swim, wasn't it? Do you know what I've been trying to do when I'm swimming? Turn my body. It's Tuesday. Yeah. I know. I know. You've still got time. I'm not going. I've got no chance. Well, we're going over that side of town. Pardon? No excuses. <laughs> Drop me off to Zumba on the way. I'm too tired. Um, mm. I've been sat in traffic for over an hour and a half. <laughs> no one likes you anyway. Skims. Pajamas. And I underestimated the softness that these were going to be. Just call me a skims girl. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy with them. I got mine boxer, medium, light heavy grey. And I got my top in a large. Oh, get me in this right now. Right now. And we're going for a shower at my nan's. And you'll catch me in my boys boxers. <laughs> my boys top. And it's the, the material. How soft is it, Dan? Mm, it's soft. It's like butter. Incredible, you won't find me out of this. I'm, I'm living in this this week. <laughs> so excited. Thank you for my early birthday present. No problem. You've got a boiler on the way as well. I'm not having that as a present <laughs> when I'm put into it. <laughs> um, to joint expense. What, so, and then I got this phone charm because Q. I know many people will hate that, so that was for you. And then I re-bought the Bondi Sands Ice Bike on sale because 
I absolutely love it. And then I've got my gratitude journal and I'll just show you a quick insight me and Dan are going to share. And this is the sort of thing that was in it. And I thought for £4, such a good reflection and self-development diary. And sometimes we all need a bit of self-development and that is all I bought. So I'm going to get a shower bag together and I'll see my nans. Wednesday my darlings it is 8 40 and I'm just on the way to the doggies haircut it is so sad today like it is grey and it's cloudy and it is not cute but that's okay we're in good spirits and guess what this morning we went on a run and I was low-key dreading it because I'm on my period like I feel a bit you know meh and I ran 5k without stopping <laughs> I can't believe I did it. I genuinely like for some people that will be like pathetic, but for me, like I the most I'd run when we sit like forever. Well, like I started off running like zero point two k and I was out of breath, and the like, most I'd done while we've been running is two point two k. And I was like, no, because of like the little setback I had at the weekend when I was a bit upset and things. I was like, no, you're not stopping. Like I just tried to slow down as much as I could keep my breathing and I'm just so proud of myself and it was also my fastest time so I'm really really happy can't believe I actually ran 5k without stopping um like when I don't know I just didn't you, know, you just don't think you're capable of things like I'm just proud of myself and I feel like I don't say that often but I really am proud of myself so go me and I just know I don't know I just never thought I would ever be able to do it so yay woohoo I I'm going to spend the day decluttering and organising my whole wardrobe which is going to be a separate video because I, I feel like if I put it all in this video you either one won't see enough or two like because I'll want to cut it out because it's too long so I feel like I could just really ramble about that then and just oh it started raining and just really go into depth and we can just do my whole room so I'll show you the before and after of course um on the vlogging oh it is really raining yeah because i'm gonna be at home all day i've literally got no makeup on i literally put on i have to look at myself i did my brows i put on collection lasting um finish and the bron dron drunk elephant drops and i put a little bit of cream contour on some collection whatever concealer on my spots and that was literally it I believe so I've, I've got no mascara or anything I just wanted to chill makeup down but I feel a little bit insecure in my spots at the moment so I just wanted to cover those and then I've just got my I don't know lap top on and some boohoo joggers and my little crockies I'm going to I'm gonna pop to the shop and get some crumpets on the way back just because I don't fancy anything sweet and the only thing I've got in for breakfast is yogurt so I think I might get a couple of crumpets for my breakfast on the way back and we're just gonna have a real nice homey kind of day and just get shit done we've got financial advisor coming in 45 minutes and we've also got um, we've also got the boiler come in today so Dan's got to pop out to work after the financial advisor comes so I'm waiting in for the boiler and yeah that is basically all that is happening today we're gonna to cook some dinner later I'm thinking of doing creamy chicken pasta I just really fancy it with some spinach and broth just a really nice like creamy pasta so I'm gonna put that on tonight and then don't know what we'll have for lunch we will see i do have some drumsticks that i was going to put some barbecue and roast them with some salad so maybe we'll do that i can't remember what our last vlog to be honest last night did i speak to you after i think i said i had a nice time on the way back and then i had a shower at my nan's and then we were literally just tidying around and um, we chatted with my nan for a bit and then we tidied around the house put a couple of washes on and the skims pajamas are everything they fit incredible like i'm obsessed with them and they weren't that like for, for pajamas they were expensive but for skims it wasn't that expensive you know i think they were like 
the order come to like 50 something I'm not quite sure but obsessed incredible so comfortable like, I would be wearing it right now if I didn't I spilt a little bit of oil on it so I had to wash it last night which is so freaking annoying um so I put some vanish on it and washed it so yeah dad bought me these earrings for Christmas and I low-key hated them at first like I was like they're like so much more than my jewellery ones which were obviously quite expensive but actually on no makeup days I actually love a small tiny little baby hoop like I think it looks quite classy because like you've got an earring in with it not like a big earring you know so yes I'm absolutely shattered Ugh. I didn't have a good sleep last night and we woke up this morning like seven minutes before the alarm to Rolo being sick because he had um they both had a they're like chicken like calcium little things and they're just a little treat but i think he um ate it too quick and he just didn't set of him last night because he was wagged up and it's just disgusting <laughs> um so yes let me know what you guys are up to let me know how your week has been let me know what you had did the weekend let me know if you're okay let me know if you also have any running tips, any swimming tips, any fitness tips in general. The main ones, because people asked, were um, like try and run as slow as you can, almost like without stopping. So like try not to stop, just run and like slow down. Really try and engage your breath. So for me, I've been alternating between like like twice in, one out, or you know in and out or sometimes I do like in in out out so that's been helping me my breath has been a big thing because I find when I'm out of breath I'm more likely to just stop and it's like keeping my like posture up so it takes the pressure off my hips I'm trying to like pick my feet up I'm such a dragger like I'm very like stompy like I'm not a very elegant person as you can imagine so like when I'm running I'm like stomping my feet and I need to stop that so I whoa gosh he was driving like a crazy person no need for that um I feel like I've gone the wrong way I feel lost anyway um and the other one was like focus on your distance not your pace like just try and slow down and just try and get the distance done and your pace will naturally improve swimming someone said like you've got to try and like sort your breath because i've been swimming wrong i have been swimming so like i've been bought goggles so i could put my head in the water but i haven't been swimming right i didn't realize that you had to breathe out because i learned to swim but not proper swim like i would learn to swim like you know just splash splash but i never learned to in water swim like head in proper crawl proper breaststroke you know like that so i have been really trying to breathe in and then breathe out while i'm under the water my hair sorry breathe out while i'm under the water and then as i'm up stroke you know but because no one teaches you these things like no one teaches you to swim properly like no one teaches you like i've never heard anyone say breathe out while you're underwater like i didn't have a clue so i was there trying to breathe in breathe out shake it all about like hold my breath while i was doing my strokes and apparently that's wrong so it's just all about learning and i'm finding it really interesting like just trying to perfect my like technique and things like that um so yeah that swimming with that and I'd, I'd say if you can like, I can't swim very straight so when I do backstroke I love doing backstroke but I don't swim very straight and I end up in people's lanes and obviously that isn't very good so swim straight if you can and I'd say change change your strokes is the best thing to do like every few strokes like four eight strokes um hello. I personally like stop every four I do as many as I can at the start and then I try and do two to four lengths have a little break two to four lengths because it doesn't matter how fast you're doing it or what time you're doing it it's you're doing it and I feel like that is like the competitiveness in like fitness and sport is that 
people I want to do it faster and it's not about faster because if you're not fit enough you're not going to be faster you're just going to wear yourself out so I'm just really trying to learn that and learn like no like you need to like just push yourself but push yourself to the right amount I'm so confused what you're capable of like learning to push yourself but not killing yourself and just enjoy it like I've never enjoyed fitness like I have recently like I've, I felt so proud of myself today and that's a feeling I don't often feel and I thought you know what like that just shows I'm doing something right and I'm trying because like I felt like I was going to be sick and throw up and my ankles really hurt and my legs hurt and I thought no just push through like you can do this like if you can do this you can go faster then and you can do 6k and you can do this like just push yourself so i was just really trying to talk to myself in my head like you've got this mia you know come on because you've got to be your own hype man you really do no one's going to drag you out of bed like dad turns around every time he's like come on mia keep going you're doing great and i love that but sometimes i think shut up you know you need yourself to be like you've got this so that's my little motivational speech for the, speech for the morning just me being honest how i feel if you're not into fitness and you watch me, I'm so sorry. That's probably so boring. I'm like, I'm not going to become this, you know, like fitness channel at all, obviously. I, ju I just want to share with you that if you have, like, I've always thought, I'd love to be good at running, but I never, I've always thought, nah, nah, you're rubbish, you'd never be rub. And, like, I'm trying it, and, like, I promised myself I'd try something new this year, and, like, I've, drew, I've started swimming, I've started Zumba, I've started you know and i just think do you know what like you've done really well like and you just need to keep at it and you need to push yourself and enjoy it so and then, like obviously this channel is just sharing my life and this is just completely what's going on at the moment and what's on my agenda so yeah 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 i'm literally at the dog groomers now i wanted to get a photo of them before i got them out my little babies I'll show you a quick before they're fluffy AF. Thank you. Hello, raw, raw. Here's a before of them babes. Hello, weekly vlog. I'm in the middle of doing the wardrobe. I just thought I'd check in with you. I'm just gonna go and pick the boys up. It's quarter past two and I'm I, I just had this thought, I thought they've been with her five hours, like they're only usually there three hours for Max and I thought, so I just texted her, I was like, hi, like just letting, like just seeing if the boys are open and she texted my old number an hour and a half ago and I know it's not my fault, I just feel awful, so I'm rushing over now to get the boys and yeah, poor little angels, I hope they're okay, because oh, I was thinking, because she told me when I dropped them off, she was like, they're gonna need a like Rolo needs his first like adult cook because like a big cut to get rid of like certain fur or whatever um so I was like okay like do whatever you need to do I don't whatever and I was like gosh she said she needed he needed a big cut but what kind of cut did he need so yeah I'm gonna go and pick them up now and apologize I didn't we just must have had a miscommunication um so yeah going to get the little angel bumps the wardrobe he's going I'm getting rid of so much like it's wild like I had too much so yeah it's wild literally wild I cannot believe how many clothes were in that wardrobe so I filtered it down so much so I'm gonna go back and try and finish it today I could get yeah, I've got another I reckon I've got another five five hours in it and then we'll be good to go I started as soon as the financial advisor went and that was also a very interesting meeting um it's just good to look at options you know just to be start investing in pension ices pensions different things like that i think when you self like i think when you're employed obviously you get a pension whereas when you're self-employed obviously you don't so it's just nice to be prepared i think it's interesting to like learn what your options are like where your money should be good morning from me i'm a little bit snotty um, it is first day today and yesterday honestly 
are you impressed with the this side of the transformation it looks so much better i haven't finished i've got to do my desk um so that's why like i've been a little bit mia so i will try and make it up to you i did have my nail appointment today but it got cancelled um so to be honest that's like low-key worked out better for me because i can have the time to just finish my room and get it done i'm feeling a little bit snotty just a little bit i don't feel too bad i just feel a bit like meh i do i'm just trying to find a primer hello where are you i just put my sorry guys i don't know where my primer is hello where are you no, I feel like I always like to put an extra little bit of something, something on my skin before I go ahead and put makeup on it. Like I like to hug out this beauty crop on. Let's put this one on. Um. So yeah. So yesterday we I literally spent all day doing um. day doing my wardrobe and it's looking so much better i got rid of so much clothes i hoovered yesterday i like dusted the side but now it's like this side of the room but my clothes look so much better i've got so much less and yeah i'm excited to go and finish this part two because this is a real mess one second dan just text me i was just watching connor kathleen's vlog and I'm just gonna do some basic, just real little makeup. I don't know if this, these are the wrong drunk elephant drops, these are my ones that are running out. I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. And I'm going to start my wardrobe and then I'm going to walk the dogs later. I'm going to walk the doggies later with my nan and have some lunch. And Dan's been putting the boiler in. The boiler came yesterday. We had, like I said, we had our meeting with our financial advisor. And then um, we... The dogs, I honestly... so. Obviously, I've had a new phone, so I need to go and make my beauty blender, really. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, let's go. And I'm going to put the Kosas concealer on. I need it. My bags are bad. I feel like when you don't feel well, your bags are always awful. Um, and then I need my concealer for my spots. Where are you? Mm, there it is. So, yes, and then we, me and Dan, um, had some lunch when he got back from work. He was doing the boiler all night, and I was doing my clothes all night. We did it. He didn't get the boiler finished, so we had to go to my nan's for a shower. And last, like, late last night. And, yes, yeah, so that's been the story in Balamori. Nothing, like, there was nothing to vlog. Like, we just both felt shattered, and I was, like, starting to feel unwell. I was like, And it just wasn't the vibe, so I just want to, I'm kind of glad my nail appointment's been cancelled because now I can just get on and finish the rest of this room. I'm just, I'm putting makeup on just so I feel a bit more productive because otherwise I just feel like staying in bed, I feel shattered. Um, my Everything's really achy from the run yesterday. So... Yes, it seems like a really nice day though, which is nice because like yesterday it rained like all afternoon but it was actually so therapeutic like i absolutely loved the rain as you know so i didn't mind it at all like i and because i felt so like tired like i just really enjoyed like walking in the rain last night so that is all i've really been doing i'm gonna yeah i'm excited to just get this room friggin finished like there's so much spare space absolutely wild it looks so much tidier and i just feel so decluttered so i'm gonna declutter all of this clean it pull all my makeup out, clean all my makeup, get rid of a load of makeup and 
yeah, just just really get organised and decluttered and then in there and downstairs is so bad because of my um because of like how much clothes I've put down there. Like it looks absolutely wild. Wild child. Oh, I keep forgetting to put my new Bondi Sans I spy on. Um, and I want to start writing in my little journal that I got from Primark. I really should be using my P. Louise one because it's absolutely massive and it's incredible. It's just so big it's almost off-putting, which I did worry about, but it is like the ultimate journal, you know. I feel like I'm side-talking. Also, I've got some PR um, from this brand called Ebon Ebo Eborian. Um, and they're the same brand that owned by Locatane. This is a Korean skin therapy. And they sent over CC water, tech, ultra light texture, fresh complexion gel skin perfecter. They sent over CC red correct, which I should could have tried. It's got SPF 25. It's got a soothing effect to even your complexion. I feel like it'd be a bit to like the Dr. Jar Tiger crap one. And then they sent over... I think this is a candle. I'm not a massive fan of it because it's lemon and I absolutely hate lemon. But I like the vibe. It says it's good for you and good, better for the planet. So maybe I'll give that to my nan so it gets used. And then this one's a high definition radiance face cream. So I'm really excited to try that because I hear amazing things about like Korean skincare, Korean skin therapy and things like that. So I'm excited to try it. I'm going to put on a little bit of the my the blush but i can't find it um this is like running out a little bit and i'm getting like the worst part of it like it's like t too pigmented so i'm hoping that's not going to be too much uh needle wipe there we go so yes, I just wanted to check in and say good morning. We'll go and get a coffee in the morning in in, in a minute. And then we will crack on with the room, which obviously I won't show you, but it'll already be live. And then come on. And then I will be back later with you when I finish my room. So I will see you in a bizzle. We're on our way to get a coffee. Just trying to work out why the music isn't playing. Okay, we are at the drive through. I need a nice iced coffee. And I'm gonna get an almond croissant if they've got one. What can I get for you? Hi, please can I get an iced vanilla latte? Can I cause medium or large? Um, medium please. Could I have it with skimmy milk please? You can of course. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah. Do you have any almond croissants? Um, I don't know. I've just got the regular croissants. Okay, that's everything. Thank you. No problem. Come on round for me. Oh, I'm sad. I really wanted a little croissant. Sure, is that okay? Yeah, no Thank you. you Thank you, have a nice there day. You See you later, you. bye. We've got our coffee, let's go home. My period has been so weird this time, guys. Like, you know when you just have them periods that are just like, not there like it's there but it's not and it's been an absolute blessing so i'm so grateful for it but it's just been weird like i've never had one like this where it's just like hardly there so wow careful so thank you 
Forgotten Universe. Coffee. I forgot to get it with um, a blonde mouse, but it's nice. some empties and I love when people show what they've been loving so I thought I would show you like what I'm getting rid of and what I like and don't like so I have this Chanel um solder tan whatever years ago and let me just make sure this doesn't focus on the chair and loved it however i bought this other one i don't know if i bought the wrong one like but i feel like they've changed the formula i've heard loads of people say that so i'm putting this in the bin she's going she's not the vibe and i'm done with her and then we are also going to get rid of let me just put these in the bin Okay, this is the BBB London Ultra Slim Brow Definer and I did really like this when I filled my eyebrows in and I loved the spoolie that came on the end. I do like this wet, wet and wild bronzer but I don't know if I'd buy it again. It's in, it's, I'm not sure, oh Sandy Beach is. I've lost the lid but it just is a bit, not too pigmented but it's almost a bit patchy. Not obsessed. I've also just put up this new little storage thing for my skincare. I've got two of these in these empties. Really enjoy, but I am on the hunt to find a more affordable. This is the Pink Gasm by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, the Icicle by Skin Pred. I do like the only thing is I've been finding that when I'm using things with the same applicator all the time, my skin doesn't love it. But I really liked how cool and it was on the skin. I just think oh, there's not really a way to clean the balm. Like even if I put it on clear, like calm clear calm clear clean skin so i prefer something that you squeeze out onto your hand i've got two empty collection lash surge mascaras you know that i already love um didn't love this this is the revolution cream i think this came in like a glossy box or something but and it's in the shade cream decadence then this is the Killer Kajal Long Wearing Intense Black Kajal Liner by Too Faced. Loved. I've literally just used it to the absolute death. Really, really like. If you like a black eyeliner in the waterline. H&B Cosmetics. I like it, but I've used better. Whether I'm not using it right. I'm not. I'm open to saying it's a good concealer, but it's not the best one I've ever tried. Like, I'm not blown away every time I use it. Just me being completely honest with you. Collection Last and Finish. Literally got a brand new one of this in the drawer. I'm obsessed with it, and I've, like found an even more obsession with it recently h&b cosmetics powder good good powder was sad when i run out but i am on i am trying others and i'll let you know if i go back to it um skin and me undecided i feel like i would need to change a couple of ingredients i feel like it didn't make my skin worse but it didn't make it better i didn't see much change but then i wasn't amazing at a planet i wasn't very consistent so i don't feel like i can give a conclusive good or bad on this i feel like i would want maybe some things changed because i find that when it's too acne fied it breaks me out but i don't know i can't give a full that's just me being nice i don't know i'd like to retry it vitamin rich bobby brown love 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 i'm gonna buy another one nars radiant creamy concealer i feel like it's for people with unproblematic skin in my opinion like i am just not loving it i didn't i just feel like it's okay like i'm not obsessed with it same with the Bobbi Brown concealer. It's called Skin Full Cover Concealer. It's okay. This is just like a Tesco eyelash curler. And it's good if you are just like want a basic eyelash curler. It's literally fucked. But the Tweezerman one is a different level of good. It, I swear to God, it's amazing. Um, CeraVe SPF. Good. Never broke me out. I'm trying the Bondi Sands one at the moment, which I like. And I've also got Garnier and the inky list up there too so like this would buy again definitely um two ones that i'm absolutely obsessed with i used the whole tester of this mm, from juliet has a gun i would like to actually purchase the full bottle of this and vanilla vibes you already know in the weekly vlogs i've been baffling on about it i've literally 
finished it. I'm obsessed with it. The smell is so sexy and all I think about is this. Like I'm so excited for it to come. Maybelline Sky High. Do like. Don't have a bad thing to say about it. But I'm re-bought my collection Lash Surge. And I'm just going to see what I prefer. Just on a little bit of a mascara journey. I also want to re-buy the L'Oreal Telescopic. I used to use it when I was younger. And just see what my favourite is. But not a bad mascara at all. Would we'll definitely repurchase. Um this is i never used this really but i've just had it too long to give away like it isn't fair this is just a liquid eyeliner better than sex brown i have the pencil of this really really like it but i don't really use liquid eyeliner and um, bbb brow london really like this is the tinted brow gel really enjoy if you want to add a little bit of something something to your brows we're nearly finished just bought another Bondi Sans Eye Spy, not an empty, but I've had plenty of empty of these and I've bought another one. If that doesn't show that I love it, I don't know what does. I feel like for a budget face spray, this is good, but I don't think it has the best ingredients for your face. It has alcohol in it, which I don't love, love, love. But at the minute, water is in it for my Dyson Air Wrap. And then I think that is all empties. So back to doing my room. Hello vlog. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've really abandoned you today, but that is the last day. I will do that. I promise. Look at this tidy room. Have you ever seen it so freaking tidy? I don't think so. Um, this is what I've been doing for the last two days. Dan's been putting the boiler in. The room and the house has been upside down. So honestly, it's just been chaos. So We've got a new boiler, we've got a tidy room, we've got decluttered drawers, we've got decluttered wardrobes, and it's so much, so much better, isn't it? Hi. You want to come in to talk about your glowworm? No. No, I'm not. I'm just waiting for her to go. Oh, so you can move the van? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and also the dogs have been clipped while I haven't been chatting to you. Here's Raw, my little weasel head. <laughs> Rolo, come here. Rolo looks so different. Are you ready? <laughs> look at Rolo. Doesn't he look different? Doesn't he look different, guys? He's in a bit of a mood because he didn't want to look at him. This is his first adult cut. Sorry, darling. You were tired, weren't you? But look at his little face. It's his first little adult cut. He looks so nice. So that's all that's really been going on. We had a Greek for lunch. And then we went out for dinner with my nan and Daz, um, because where we went for their, their Daz's birthday a few weeks ago, we had 50% off, so we all went for dinner there. Luckily, I wasn't very hungry because I had a portion for a four-year-old. It was very small. It was, wasn't it? And I'm not feeling 100%. I'm, I don't feel terrible, but I just don't feel brill. So I haven't really had loads to do, apart from we've just been literally sorting the house out, haven't we? Yeah. Why are you laughing? Oh, Rory had a tick. Oh, yes. Rory had a tick. So, yesterday, um, because we've been going to my nan's to shower, I, um, we, I'd just come down from my shower, and obviously they got groomed yesterday, and Dan was like, oh, Rory's got a scab and, like, a lump, and I was like, a lump? And he was like, don't worry, like, it's a scab from where they play so much. And I was like, okay, that's okay, then not to worry. And then he said... And I was like, right. And then I, I was like, Rob, come here and like felt him. And then I felt his shoulders. <laughs> it's full enough. I felt his shoulders. And he had a tick. Like, it had like black stuff around it. And he had a little ticky. So I think he got it from the garden. Um, or Sue's garden. or Because he hadn't gone for a walk after his grooming. And obviously she would have seen it. Because she checks them very thoroughly. So... Yeah, so we had to get it out with Sue's tweezers and luckily it all come out as one. Yeah, you could see his little legs. Because you're meant to get that tweezler thing, aren't you? Yeah, you, you can get like, like a, a special tool. Yeah, a tick tool, can't you? So we managed to get the tick out, which is obviously very, very good. All in one. Yeah, and like, it was like, like, what did we say again? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's what we think it would it would do if it made a noise. So yes, the room is looking so freaking tidy. I even gave down a whole rail, and I also got this skincare little lazy Susan, which is really really cute. And yeah, just looks so good. I'm feeling refreshed. I feel like it was my spring clean that I needed. Just needed to be done. We got rid of how much clothes? Oh my god! Box, Doubt. Uh, bags and bags full. Honestly, thousands and pounds worth. Honestly, it was wild. But it just needed to go. Like, I do not need... Like, I can't wear it all. And, like, there's stuff that I'm only wearing once and then I'm never wearing it again. So, like, I'm just trying to be a bit more conscious and build a, a capsule wardrobe. I'm obviously very lucky with my job, whereas I get gifted and things. But, yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit more sensible with my purchases and, like, the gifted things. But I've been trying to put things on vintage, give them to charity... And things like that so we have a clean room clean boiler and it's just nice like to have a shower here like the fact that we was able to have a shower tonight was everything wasn't it <laughs> yeah it was nice wasn't it because going to Suey's for a shower is not the vibe i'm very grateful that she let us have a shower there don't get me wrong but there's nothing like taking like a wash bag and all this rubbish to someone else's house like i felt like we were back living between houses and things so yes that is all from me tonight i will i will take you with me tomorrow and it'll be a bit of a better vlog so i'll speak to you tomorrow good morning my nose is streaming i'm trying to not get it to drip over my mouth mate what makeup um i'm just opening this i got a few weeks ago so i thought we could try it together the CC High Definition Radiance Face Cream. I've got no idea what to expect. I'm low-key nervous. What's the colour like? Oh, is it going to be one of those that turn to colour? Oh dear, it's gone. Wow! That's sick. Whoa, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I've just put my... Um, concealer on to start setting over my spots. Do you reckon it'd be a bit of a brush or a beauty blender? Shall I just squirt a bit on the face and hope it goes well? Shall I buff it in with a brush and then maybe pat with the beauty blender? Are you ready? Ah, I'm scared! Ignore the dogs, we've been for a walk, they're fighting. I'm just patting it all over. And see what happens. I shouldn't have put like the drink elephant. I should have done like a clear slate, and maybe we'd have been. You ready? I'm nervous. Please don't ruin my makeup. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like. Mm, oh, I hate describing smells. Like a bit minty. Minty, minty, minty. I don't know. Okay, I feel like that's actually added a bit of a blur over the skin. And it's definitely still got glow, which is nice. My arm is aching a bit. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so achy. I mean, I drank my coke last night, I just couldn't really taste anything. You know, when you get a cold and you just like, tastes a bit funny. Not the vibe. I'm just getting ready because I've got a meeting in an hour um, and then I really want to edit my vlog. Let me just have a look what my face looks like. Oh, for fuck's sake. The brushes, I really need to get some new brushes, like badly. Really badly. Oh my god, I'm actually obsessed. Let's see how it layers. But I actually love how my skin looks. It looks flawless. To be honest with you, let's get them hands up. Actually, looks flawless. Looks like I. Wow, I've never really. I don't think I've ever used the CC cream, man. But this is what I've been missing from my life. Ta da! <laughs> Actually, fucking love that. I haven't even put any concealer on. Are you joking? I've got no concealer on. Looks like I have. Okay, 
process concealer, I still love this. La, 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 la. Let's lift those eyes up. Up to the sky, we're gonna cry. Um, so also exciting for me, my mum's coming, which I had no idea. My mum is coming and she is going to um, stay for the night because she's her friend's staying with her at the moment at um, down in Somerset and she's driving her back up so she's going to come and stay for the night which I'm really excited about. Hey mum! Hey mum! I'm going to use this for cream contour. <laughs> To my last nectarine of the week, it's sad. It's blending the concealer. It was so nice this morning coming into like a real tidy room and I really am going to try and keep a conscious effort to keep it tidy. I really, really am. Pinky swear. Pinky swear, pinky swear. But I did rebuy the Bondi Sands Eye Spy and I feel like that's helped my skin look a lot. My my under eyes look a lot brighter, to be honest. I really do rate that product. It's just like an under eye, it's like an eye cream. Boys! Sorry, I just had to go and shout out the dog. No, don't come back crawling in. Naughty. Not your friend. Mm hmm Not your friend, I've said it. I've said I'm not your friend and I mean it. Go away. You stop being naughty, please. Little pest. He's curling up now. Sorry, Mum. Sorry for annoying you again. So, yes, I can't really remember what I was saying after I started shouting at the dogs. But I'm just going to do my makeup, have my meeting. It's on Teams, I think. Google Teams. I don't know what the stage is of, like, if it's a lot of effort to, like, join and stuff so i'm gonna have a quick look in case i need to like sign in and all that big mong oh, my, the brush bloody hairs keep going in my um makeup i really need to get a new foundation brush brush but you know you're just scared because you like the one you've got like what if it's not as good you know next week also we've got a bit of a glow up we're having our hair done we're having our eyebrows and eyelashes done and we're having our nails done so i don't know if to vlog like a little glow up routine so let me know if you'd like that or you just want it in the weekly vlog i just don't think anything blends quite like charlotte tilbury also i've had a h&m parcel that sat right there so we can have a look at that in a minute i also need to go and pick up i ordered a pair of trousers from the brand arkit so i'm going to pick them up today actually I might get my nan to do it and get her to pick it on her way out and forward her the email. Hello. Hello. I've got a favour. Okay. Um, is if I forward you this email, is there any chance on the way to um Young at Heart? I've got a parcel waiting at Londis by you. Is there any chance you'll pick it up for me and I'll come and grab it from you later? Where's Londis? You know, the one on the roundabout. You know, the little shop. Oh, um, yes, yes. If I forward you the email, you just need to give them the order number. Is there any chance you'll pick it up? Just because yeah. I was going to go on the way back, but, but I had the dogs. Yeah, do that. Um, I've got to walk up and fetch my prescription. So what I, when I've been to Young at Heart, I'm going to go up and fetch my prescription. I'll pick it up then. Is that OK? Yeah. You don't mind? No, that's fine. Thank you. And then I'll come and pick it up from you later. I'll keep hold. I'll screenshot yeah. it and send it to you. I think you just need to say the order number. OK. Also, before you go. Yeah. I've got a... This brand, I've never heard of them before. This is them. They sent me out... See this? Right. They sent me out this... CC cream which is a high definition radiance face cream and then they sent a colour correcting one and then a like a water one 
and it's really nice it's like when you put it on it's like really light it's like a little cream and it's white and when you blend it in it blends to the tone of your face and it just gives you like a really even like thing oh, so, so i feel like you need to, i'll use it a couple of times and if i like it i'm going to recommend it to you because you don't like okay. anything heavy do you no and it's just like went completely to the color of my Are face no. yeah i've just literally well, i've just put my contour and stuff on but yeah. like this bit Oh, that mm. good. Interesting, so I just thought I'd mention it in case I forget. Yeah, I'll keep up. Um, but yeah, that's fine. I'll um, let me know when you're back later, and I'll come and grab it this afternoon. I'll keep up. Love All you. Right. All right, love you. Mm. Right. Mm. Go your age, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My nan has never tried an angel slice. Can we believe it? Wild, wild shit. Okay powder i think i'm gonna use the hawaiian tropic spf powder under my eyes oh that's now she got back from holiday last night at literally 4am bless her and she's got to jump on this meeting she's knackered she's like sorry about the way i look but obviously she needs to be on the meetings the poor thing so yeah but i just want to look like presentable because obviously i'm like representing the brand i don't want to look i want to give off a good impression like i don't know i just want to look put together because i'm obviously going to be promoting their product it's well out of the brand um so yeah okay face is set Yeah, I ordered some trousers from Arkit and they're just like wide leg, like cute, stripy ones. And they're really nice. And I've never ordered from there. And they usually were like £60, but they were on sale, so I thought, oh, I'm just going to spray a bit of the All Nighter by Urban Decay. And then we'll comb my eyebrows back down. So let's open the HM parcel. pairs of trousers I ordered these I don't know if they're going to fit or anything but I got these beige trousers they're like wide leg they were only £14.99 which I just thought was incredible I got these ones in a large and they're just like beige stripey drawstring trousers i don't know if they're the same the ones that everyone has like the stripy ones the black ones whatever i've got some black ones too and they just go into a wide leg and i just thought they were very me so hopefully they fit and then i've got the same in black and obviously i tried the one pair around in a medium and they didn't fit so they're like linen-y trousers i think and then I've got these ones. These look a little bit big, but whether they will go in okay with the drawstring and look nice. Um, but I just love the vibe of them. It's like black linen in your trousers. And I literally do not have one pair of black trousers looking in my wardrobe. So we'll see if they fit. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup because you guys have seen me do it too many times. And I'll be back. These are so nice guys, honestly. So nice. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> you do it while I'm doing You do like something weird with your tongue as well, you yeah. Well, that's just me then. We don't mean to. Oh, God. <laughs> don't can sort that out. <laughs> Oh yeah, hang on, let me finish it off because I've not done it properly yet.
Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Cheers, boys. I will catch up with you properly, but we're just rushing around a little bit. But I've got our new unit thing, so I was just going to try and load a couple of products in. I need to get rid of the numbers on it. Um, but this was just, it's not cutting it for us, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to change the products. I'm just going like, to dry off and the toothbrush and like things like that you know that are just like a little bit wet and i'm just hoping things are gonna fit in okay okay we fit the toothbrush in so let's put our toothbrushes in here and then I'm hungry, yeah. I'm starving. Bye. 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 Bye.
because I'm going to wash it on Monday morning because I'm going to go swimming tomorrow and swimming Monday morning so there's just no point in um, doing it you know oh, stickers are so annoying there we go looks better let's go and put this in the bathroom I'm just going to clean the toilet. I've just got bleach in the bowl with the toilet brush, so please ignore that. I need to clean that. Um, so, yeah, I feel like that looks quite cute. This is what it looks like in all the toilet. <laughs> um, yes, I have left, like, my Sunday, these. I need to clean the bathroom, like I just said, so please ignore that. But I don't know if these will fit, so let's have a look. The only thing that doesn't fit anywhere is my shampoo and conditioner. They're just too big. So I'm just going to put them up here behind the shower head. Also, these are the trousers. They're really nice, it's really comfy. They're quite big, but I like that. They're not tight, they're just comfy. And I never really wear the colour black, do I? So quite nice, let's just fold the little towel up. I usually like to use like the astonished toilet bowls, but I'm just going to spray all the seat and I think with the anti-back. Baby, I don't care. Usually I go in with a wet cloth, but I'm just going to wipe around with the yeah, anti back white. Also, if you live with a boy, how do you just train them to just be clean? At? Like, he's got better because he used to just wee through the seat and not even lift it up. And I used to be like, absolutely not are you doing that. Lift that seat up or I'm taking the toilet away. I actually don't think there's anything better than a clean toilet. I did buy some marigold gloves, but I just don't know where they're for the friggin' life of me I put them. And then I'm just going to grab some toilet roll and just go around. This isn't really a deep clean, this is just a spot clean. I'm just going to wash my hands. And then I've sprayed this, so I've sprayed this in the toilet. Oh, right, my anti back wipes and just go around the sink. I'm only trying to two wake and my washing guys, I need to do a restock.
three minute storage so I'll be quick but I just thought I would catch you up I'm just about to watch while I'm just editing I've got some YouTube on the background my mum should be like another hour or so she's quite late it's four o'clock I um yeah Dan's just gone off to the gym and I'm just here with the doggies also I got my bag well one of my birthday presents yesterday I got a bag and I'm so excited to open it on my birthday that I haven't had it yet but I'm just looking at the outside bag so I cannot wait to show you look at my hair I look like an absolute rat a little bit cold so <laughs> I've got the dog blanket on I'm just chilling editing and I'm tired to be honest Ugh. we popped to Tesco and yesterday I feel like I spoke to you in the morning and then I just didn't speak to you again did I we went to where did we go yesterday I can't remember what I did yesterday I recorded the podcast had a meeting um, me and Dan run some errands yes then we went to the outlet got my bag um, clean got my bag cleaned up Excuse me, no chance of you licking that on camera, disgusting. No one wants to see that. Um, <laughs> and then we had the Mackies, came to bed. This morning we got up, had a coffee, went for a dog walk. And then what else did we do? Tidied the house, went to Tesco, this dog is being needy. Just like bits and bobs, did the shower thing, and now we're just waiting for my mum to come. I thought she'd have been a bit earlier, to be honest. This dog is being playful. No, thank you. So I'm going to go and get a toy, and I'll catch up with you when my mum comes. <laughs> Woo! This is Ruby. Say morning, Woo. Rue absolutely loves the sun and we rescued Rue. She's now six, I think. And I love her so much. We rescued her. She was only a few months old. Somebody didn't want her anymore and weren't willing to train her. So we drove to Wales and picked her up. And then I've only just not showed you Peb. So this is Rue, my little sister. We've showed you Pebbles, my little sis, and now just Darcy. No, Darcy. Pebbles to go. But happy Sunday. We had a gear off last night and just chilled as a family. And then my nan went home and we watched the new orphan film. And then went to bed and literally just got up. So good morning. Ignore my erratic appearance. I'm just, appearance. I've just woke up. Coolest dog whisperers, honestly. Look at all these dogs we ended up. Hi, Dars! You good girl. Hello. Look at them all follow Danny. You ready, guys? And that is all I got for this week's weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I love you guys more than you'll ever know. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hope you have the best week ever.